Hi guys, so I have my Pan That palette update. Um, as you can see, I've swapped from the larger palette to a more condensed slimline, so instead of having 48 eyeshadows in my makeup basket at the time, I just have 24 because I was getting fed up of constantly breaking shadows every time I accidentally dropped something. Um, and also, I'm very happy that I've done it because there's four eyeshadows that are a bit the dust. There's no salvaging them. Um, green smoke, humid, creme de violet, and amber lights. Oh, poor amber lights. Um, they'd been broken before, and and I'd reset, repress them, and broke them again. And I'd set them to the side to repress them. And I was going to get to it, going to get to it, and they got knocked over and it went everywhere. My my camera is actually covered in gold glitter because it was right next to my camera where they fell. I'm not I'm not too happy about that. Um I'm more <laughs> more angry at that than losing the four shadows. Um so yeah. <laughs> so I'm now four shadows down. I now only have forty four to hit pan on. Well forty three because I've already hit pan on one. But um, these are the shadows I've been working with over April and I've actually been having a lot of fun. Um, I've been using uh, contrast a lot and red brick has been like a go-to. I've actually been using both um, crystal avalanche and oh I always forget what this one is. Dazzle light. I've been using crystal avalanche and dazzle light as brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight every time I do my makeup. Um, I've also started using this shade Goldmine. I thought it was going to be very, very yellow and it's actually more of a sort of, like it looks yellow when you swatch it out, but when you put it into looks, it comes out as a very like old gold kind of shade and I really like it. It goes very nicely with the purples and the greens. Um, I still haven't been using all of the shades in here. I've made a good, a great big dip in cork over the past month and I'm almost hitting pan on Dazzle Light. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a bit disheartening that I'm not making lots of progress even though I'm wearing makeup a lot more regularly than I have in recent years. But at the same time, these are MAC shadows. They're notorious for being densely packed and they're each about between a gram and two grams, two plus grams of product um, and most of them are barely used. So of course it's going to be a challenge, of course it's going to be difficult. It is just a bit disheartening but at least it's not as bad as last year when I was doing the Estee Lauder eyeshadows because they were just chalky, non- existent messes on the lid at least these still create beautiful looks and each month I seem to well there's such an array of colors that each month I can gravitate towards something different I can get a different feel a different look um, but I think I might change them out I might change these guys out and pull some more of um, these other shades in some more darker, dustier shades because I'm, I'm kind of feeling that vibe, you can't tell from my eyeshadow. Um, this isn't my pen that palette makeup unfortunately, it's a different palette altogether. But I'm really feeling this kind of vibe. So yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But that is my pen that palette update. Not a whole lot of progress, um, a sad event. But we'll, we'll get over it. We'll move on. There will be other amber lights in the world. Um, if anything, I'm a bit more upset about... Um, well, of course, I'm upset about shadow dust getting all over my camera. But, um, you know, the loss of um, humid. Because humid was, like, one of my favourite greens. And I was really looking forward to using that over summer. Um, but I do still have... Uh, sumptuous olive and club so they will make do <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye